Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I'm your host, Matthew Horky. So we're here in Skopje at the Vino, the first annual Vino Salon. And we just got done with a master class tasting indigenous Balkan varieties from Macedonia, Serbia, and Croatia. And I'm super excited because we tasted already seven of the nine wines we had in the master class. But uh, we had some real interesting wines. I just want to show you the ones from Macedonia we have is the grape Stenushina. This is from Brusciani. This is Stenusha from 2013. Now, Stenushna is very unique. Macedonia, they're concentrated on big, powerful wines. But Stenushna produces really light-bodied wines full of fruit. Uh, a nice little change-up to what's going on here in Macedonia. In Serbia here, we have what is Shireen's favorite grape when we were in Serbia. This is uh, Prokopats. Like right now, we have the Ivanovic Prokopats from 2015. Prokopats is actually really awesome. To, to me, it tastes a little bit Syrah, a little bit Sangiovese mixed. You've got some nice sour cherry notes. You sometimes have the pepper. You have, sometimes get the leather, some little bit of tar. All interesting, interesting interpretations. I mean, we have ones that are fresh and fruity, like this bad boy from Doya. We have ones that are more modern, like this one from Virtus. And of course, we have old traditional ones, like this one from Budimir. When we were here, when we were here early in the year, Budimir was one of the only wineries that actually was rated by Robert Parker. And then, lastly, we have Plavitz Mali from Croatia. Uh, again, one of Shireen's favorite grapes. We had already tasted one, and two of these were brand new to us, like this Marcus from 2013. This is a garage winery, actually, in Zagreb. And the Stina from the island of Brach from 2012. And then we have this Milo Stagnum from 07, which we already tasted. Plavitz Mali is the offspring of Zinfandel and Dobrochic. It produces wines, super high alcohol, a lot of tannins, really grippy. Uh, I was impressed with all three of how well these wines made because all their, they were tannic, full of alcohol. I think still the Milo Stagnum was my favorite out of the three, but they were all good wines. So there's interesting stuff going on here in the Balkans. You see three unique grape varieties. You should come check them out. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. I'll see you at the next episode.